Finally, there's a millennial that's getting it right. Welcome to Watching the Horizon. I'm Jake. Those of you who regularly follow my channel know that I am actually from a large city and I moved out to the country, uh, or at least as far into the country as I was able to get for the purpose of, well, essentially evacuating the big city. I'm, I'm sort of bugging out early, so to speak. And I want to kind of get things set up, get things ready so that, um, so that I'll be able to actually live there. So my plan being, you know, instead of just having to bug out at a moment's notice is to uh, get my property set up, uh, you know, get involved in the community. And then that way I can already be there in the country so that if the balloon goes up, I may or may not notice. The purpose of this video is um, if you like my kind of content, you will probably be interested to meet somebody kind of new on the YouTube scene. Got a, got a few videos out there and I think you're going to like what he has to say. Now, specifically, those of you who are familiar with the channel Viking Preparedness, I think that you would really enjoy uh, this new YouTuber that's come along, and he is the Millennial Man. He is from Northern Virginia, and he just recently moved to the Ozark area, and he's got a couple of really good things going for him. Um, I like what he has to say, and he's got a pretty rockin' beard. so. I don't know what other reason you're going to need to go check out his channel, but seriously, go check out his channel. It's worth a couple minutes of your time, at least. I think what initially turned me on to uh, watching this new YouTuber is that his story is remarkably like my own. And so when you hear somebody start to kind of tell their origin story and you're like, wait a second. Um, that's me. I did that. I, I did that. Wait, I did that. It, it you know, it kind of makes the hair on your back of your neck stand up a little bit. But, um, you know, from from I haven't spoken with, with him directly. I just, you know, have watched his videos as they come out. But, um, you know, watching his channel, watching his videos, he too um, was from a fairly densely populated area in Northern Virginia. And he was kind of, well, he could sort of see the writing on the wall, I believe is the term that he used. Now, uh, me and my family from the Denver area, uh, those of you who are familiar, you know, very urban, very hip, very hipster-ish, if you will. I playing, of course, but you know, you kind of get my drift. It's definitely a, a liberal mentality, uh, definitely a deviation from what some would consider traditional family values. So one day he decided he's had enough and he wants to go and strike out into the country. And uh, he he talks about how he, he basically got rid of everything that he owned, including his laptop, and moved out to the country. He did reach out to Viking Preparedness. Now, Pastor Joe, I'm sure, very busy individual, gets lots and lots of messages, but as Providence would have it, um, he saw the millennial man. He saw this gentleman, um, his name is Sam, and saw him and reached out to him and they they had a conversation and next thing you know sam's like okay i'm on my way and boom there he is he's in the ozarks he got rid of everything and now now he's living the dream he's out there he's he's joined a community he's got a job he's 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 doing it he's doing it exactly there are some pros uh, you know, to being single, no kids. Uh, I'm not saying anything negative about it. I 
did almost the exact same thing in that I, you know, with my wife, uh, came to the conclusion that it was it was time to go, and that if we didn't leave now, it would certainly be unhealthy for us to stay. Uh, you know, spiritually, physically, mentally, it just it, we had to go. So we did. We got rid of um, almost. We pared down considerably. We didn't go quite as far as Sam did. But um, we, you know, we, we had a full house, you know, full of stuff, so much stuff. It was kind of ridiculous. And we did. We got rid of it. We, we gave a lot of it away. Um, we gave a lot of it to Goodwill and the local thrift stores. And just, you know, we got out of there. And then we moved to the Ozark area. And uh, we did bring some stuff with us. But at the moment, what we're doing, um, we're renting. Now, I, I'm not saying anything, uh, but, you know, I reached out to Pastor Joe just to sort of get some insight into the area, see uh, if it'd be one of those things if, you know, we could have a conversation. But, you know, unfortunately, I'm sure my messages got lost in the, in the myriad of all the messages that he gets, and, and that's okay. Um, but I made it here anyway. I'm, I made it to the Ozarks. And while my path at this point is slightly different than the millennial man's, I'm still on it. And I just, my hat's off to this young gentleman who really kind of sees the world for what it is. And so for that, I wanted to make sure that those of you who were watching my channel, those of you who are subscribed or just happened to run across this video, um, check out his channel and I'll link it on the screen. I'm not a inner tube YouTube expert with all the video editing and stuff. So chances are it's going to end up just as a tag in the, I'll figure it out. Maybe somebody will show me. I don't know. But anyway, go check out his channel. Um, he's got a lot of really interesting things to say. So anyway, that's all for this video. Just keeping it short and uh, just be sure to keep your eyes open.